All right, I'm very excited about the victory. Uh, you go on the road in this league against an undefeated team, first league game, get a victory. No matter how it comes, it's a blessing, and we're thankful. And uh, uh, take our hat off to uh, Duke and their program. I mean, you walk in this place and you see excellence. You see the beauty of the stadium and the, even the, the grass and how they take care of it and all the new facilities they have and the leadership they have with Coach Cutcliffe. Is, it's fantastic, and uh, I know a lot of people have done a lot of things to make this place what it is today. But you know, last time I was here was 17, 18 years ago, when I was at Florida State, and I uh, can't remember what year it was, but it's been a while, and uh, it's dramatic, it's a dramatic difference in what you see now, and 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 really, uh, the team uh, that they put out there is, is is excellent. We were, you know, our defense gave up some yards and, and some. Uh, grass between the 20s but when it got in the red zone we found ways to force field goals and got a couple turnovers when it really counted the most and I thought our defense finished extremely well I thought our offense led by me unfortunately uh, you know we just had too much confusion um, and uh, you know I had to call timeouts I mean really it was embarrassing I was embarrassed uh, for how some of that finished but you know in the end we did we did uh, Run one more, <clears throat> had one more running touchdown, which is what you hope to have. Uh, that might have been the only play that we ran the ball and actually created a crease for the back. I mean, I thought most of the yards that Walton had was just, you know, bouncing things outside and, and just, uh, <clears throat> you know, doing some things with his, with, with his ability to jump cut and speed and things like that. There were, there were very few times I thought we just blocked and gave the guy a crease. And, uh, you know, that one to uh, Homer at the end was, was one like that. Uh, Malik, <clears throat> for the most part, played well. He did some really, out, really outstanding things. Uh, the flag route that Barrios caught that was almost a touchdown, and then we get on the one and don't score, obviously. But that play right there was a fantastic job of reading coverage. And they, they brought the house. They, it, was a, it was a zero coverage blitz, meaning they're, they're bringing more than we can block. And, and he, uh, they, they, they disguised it well, brought it late. Last second, he realized what happened and went to the perfect guy for the ball and, and threw a beautiful strike with somebody bearing down on him. First touchdown pass, we actually, I think our tackle was stumbling and didn't protect well, but Malik hit his points, he set up in the pocket and threw a strike for that touchdown. And then <clears throat> the touchdown to Amon uh, on that little crossing route. Uh, he stood in there in the face of a blitz as well. So. Um, I, I thought he did. A, I thought he showed a lot to me. He made some nice runs, um, and the, unfortunately, the interception was. Um, uh, we we thought the guy. We thought Amon was open for a TD there, and he just overshot it. And um, and we got the pick. You know, that's, his two picks have been really good decisions. That the ball just went a little too high, and and uh, you know, the, the art of throwing the deep ball, especially the post, is. Is one where you, sometimes you you want to drive the ball to him, you want to throw it relatively flat, but he really needs to lay it out there and let the guy run across the field to go get it a little bit and give him something to adjust to. When you throw it as flat as he did on that one, it's it's perfect, or you got problems, and that's that's what happens. So he'll he knows better. He just he just didn't throw it uh, like he should have on that one. But other than that, uh, I think <clears throat> hopefully Walton's not too serious. I think Amon proved to be well enough to do what he did. Um, you know, just just happy with the victory. Mark, do, do you get the sense that Walt, I mean, any hint that you know Walt's going to be okay? Or you yeah, I think he more. I think it was more where it got a hit. The ankle got hit more so than it rolled again. You know, if you roll your ankle again, it's not good. If it gets hit from the side or somebody lands on it, it's painful. Uh, and then, uh, but usually it's not. I mean, obviously, it can swell up again and all that. But if you roll it again, then it's less likely that he would be back. So my guess is he's going to be OK, but he's going to be living in the training room. <laughs> Mark, you talked about the uh, timeouts. And yeah. That, I, I think it was the last one you scored the touchdown to Amon on that crossing route. Right mm -hmm. timeout. Yeah. Was that was a good timeout. That was the only good timeout yeah, I called. Yeah, um, well, what we did is we had a play called that when they lined up, we knew what the coverage was, and it had it really had 
very little chance of success. And so I just called timeout. And then we went ahead and called a play that would be good against the coverage they lined up in, but also if they, if they went zero coverage, they went blitz, man to man with no help, uh, this play had a very good chance in that coverage as well. So we thought it'd be one of the, either what they showed or we thought they'd bring the house. One of the two. As it turned out, they brought the house. And it, I mean, it worked exactly like you hope it would. The inside, there's man to man on both sides. You know, uh, Amon's out here and there was Herndon in here and Herndon pushes vertical and his guy's got him man to man. And then when Amon makes a little jab move, comes underneath, the corner's got a chase and I think he just, I think he got picked off or had to go over the, over the top or whatever, but Amon with his speed. And then everybody else is running away from that play. You got a back scat in full speed. You got speed outs to the field and a flag to the field. So everybody's gone. You got one. On, you got two one-on-ones right here. Push, route comes underneath, and we hit it right. And, and the line, the line picked up everybody they could. Yeah, you know, in that blitz, you can't block them all. We only had a five-man protection, but he had a clear vision to the receiver, which is nice, and uh, put it right in his gut. <clears throat> Say again. Yeah. Yes. I would not say conditioning at all. I think we, I think they just, uh, they made some good adjustments at halftime. We were doing a lot of free release protections, and uh, they had, you know, the very first play that was almost a lateral and could have been catastrophic. Uh, they, they got us on that one with their pressure. We, we've worked on that before. They had not shown it the whole game, and they brought both inside backers and had a defensive end, you know, peel on the back. The back was free releasing, and he peeled and. Usually one of the backers takes a man to man and you block the other one. You got five to block. But when that happens, the tackle's got to squeeze back inside to get the linebacker, which he, he didn't do. I think that's what happened. But we had a guy right, right in his face immediately. And, uh, but I'll say this, the, the hot throw or the quick throw is not to the back. So it, the ball shouldn't have gone there no matter what. Uh, and it just about got us. Oh, yeah. They played great. I mean, shut them out in the second half. Did beautiful. Did a beautiful job. And, uh, you know, again, they, they, they um, I thought Manny and the staff made some really good adjustments and guys played hard. And, but, you know, there's still things that are just sloppy, you know, not getting everybody off the field. You know, it could have been horrible. And uh, I guess we had a pass interference that it, it's, it's hard to be an official <laughs> and get it right. You know, so much contact and, you know, it, it's just it's just hard to make the call sometimes. But um, you know, I, I thought the defense in the second half played about as good as you could against a quality opponent. Mark, you mentioned the offensive confusion. <clears throat> what do you attribute that confusion to? Well, no, no, you don't shrug it off. You you take ownership first, like I am, and then you get it straightened out. But um, we just uh, we had some formations that um, were not quite, hey, go out there and tell those guys to be quiet. You got me? Tell them there's people in here, all right? So he's going to try to get to that. But uh, what was the question? Oh, the, the, the biggest thing was um, we were in our, what we call rhino. And that's, uh, you know, two tight ends. And then we take uh, a guard and make him a fullback because we haven't done a good enough job recruiting fullbacks around here. And uh, we were asking, uh, we called a play that everybody should know how to line up, and they didn't. They didn't line up right. And um, so, uh, and then we called it again, and they didn't line up right. And that's just, that's me, and that's everybody involved on the offensive staff that, you know, couldn't, we, we just could, we could not get it done uh, without using a timeout. And uh, it was just bad. That's all I can tell you. Thanks, everybody. Anybody else want one more? Yeah. <clears throat> is this where you want your team to be? Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, you're three and zero, one and zero in the league, and uh, you know, we got, we do have an extra day to regroup, and of course, we won't get in until probably three or four in the morning, and all that kind of good stuff. But uh, yeah, I mean, we got a ways to go, and uh, we, I'm sure it'll be a, 
it gets it gets real hot in Tallahassee, so I'm sure we'll, we'll be dealing with that at a 3:30 kickoff. I think that's what it is. So, you know, they got they got a game tomorrow, and we'll be watching that and against Wake, and uh, we'll see what we can learn from that. And then, you know, we you do summer reports on uh, the team that would have been our what they'd have been our third game, first uh, conference game. So we did some film study over the summer, and I don't know if they've changed a lot. So we'll just have to see how much it is like what they were doing in the summer. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat>